There is an argument that has been made by Christians and conservatives and conservative Christians, and it's been made for quite some time now, and it goes a little something like this. It's a three-word argument, very simple. Homosexuality is unnatural, and uh, therefore it's wrong. It's wrong because if something is unnatural, it's wrong. Now, let's ask ourselves a few questions here. The first question we need to ask is, what is unnatural? And to answer that, unnatural is that which is not natural. How can something be not natural? Nature encompasses all of existence. Everything that exists is part of nature. That includes you and me and termites and, and sunflowers and, and clouds and stars and quasars and comets and, and supernovas and black holes and dark matter. All of it is part of nature. Now, a lot of times when people choose to refute the homosexuality as unnatural argument, they point to animals and they say, well, you know, there's, there's homosexual penguins and homosexual zebras and homosexual dogs and homosexual cats and so on and so forth. Homosexuality is found all over nature. You know, it's not a terrible argument, but it does have one fatal flaw. It tacitly makes the admission that humankind is separate from nature. And this is not the case. Human beings are part of nature. We evolved from so-called lesser species. We are part of the natural order. We are part of this environment. Now, there are some environmentalists out there, like E.O. Wilson, for example, who say that the way that we impact our environment is unnatural. But how can this be? How can a skyscraper be unnatural if uh, a beehive is not unnatural, or a beaver's dam is not unnatural, or a wasp's nest is not unnatural, or a colony of ants is not unnatural? How come we are the only species on the planet who, when we build something, it is regarded as unnatural? Simply because it's more complex? Simply because we used our intellect rather than our instinct to fashion it? That doesn't make any sense. Because human intellect is a product of nature just like anything else. When we ask ourselves, what is unnatural, the answer is nothing. There is no such thing as unnatural. The dichotomy between natural and unnatural is a false dichotomy. Unnatural is just a concept born of our feverish need to give everything a counterweight. It's our need for balance. We're always trying to balance things out. You know, if there's darkness, there's got to be light. If there's happiness, there's got to be sadness. So we like for things to have opposites, and plenty of things do have opposites. But there's no such thing as unnatural. Nature does not have an opposite because nature encompasses all. Now, there are some Christians out there who, whenever an atheist or an agnostic or an anti-theist or a free thinker of any stripe points out that there are a lot of rational inconsistencies with the concept of God, there are a lot of Christians out there who will say, well, God is outside of nature and therefore outside of logic and outside of rationality. So, if you're a Christian who accepts that premise, then that means that God is unnatural. And uh, if you're going to say that unnatural is inherently negative, then that must mean that God is inherently evil, because he is unnatural. But I guess that's neither here nor there, because we're not really talking about God right now. We're talking about the argument, homosexuality is unnatural. That's the argument we're refuting here. But there is no such thing as unnatural. But let's say I'm wrong. Let's say there is. Let's say that there is nature, and there is unnature, and there are somehow things which are unnatural in the world. Well, here's the problem. By the standard that says that homosexuality is unnatural, glasses are unnatural. Jewelry is unnatural. Houses are unnatural. Medicine is unnatural. All of the modern conveniences that we've grown accustomed to are completely unnatural. Now, maybe they don't qualify that stuff as unnatural. Maybe it's only certain behaviors that are unnatural. Well, I ask you, is it natural to gather in a building every Sunday and worship a god? Is it natural to paint rigid lines on the grass and try to get people to run down a field with a ball? Is that natural behavior? Is it natural for someone to jump out of a plane and pull a cord and a parachute comes out and they land safely on the ground below? None of these behaviors by your standard could possibly be natural, yet you don't think of any of them as immoral. But let's even grant them that. Let's say that homosexuality is unnatural and all of those other things are completely natural. I still don't understand why unnatural necessarily equates to wrong. Like I was talking about earlier, a lot of Christians hold the idea that God is outside of nature and therefore unnatural, but that he is also omnibenevolent. So, 
He is a god of perfect good who is outside of nature, therefore unnatural. Something unnatural is good. So this argument doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't think it is much of an argument. I think it's more of a justification. Now, it's hardwired into human beings to dislike things that deviate from the norm. Whether it be homosexuality, or just dressing a little bit different, or whatever else. If, you know, it, we have this mechanism inside us that makes us a little bit uncomfortable in the presence of those who are different. And it doesn't affect all of us, but it does seem to affect a lot of us. And it seems to me that instead of trying to overcome that, we've tried to come up with justifications for it. People say, I hate homosexuality because God said to hate homosexuality. I hate homosexuality because homosexuality is unnatural. It's a visceral, instantaneous justification response. You know, it, it's like someone burns down your house without giving it a single thought and then later you ask them why and they just come up with something on the spot like, oh, I'm sorry, it was obstructing my view or uh, I just wanted to test out my new matches. It's the same thing. It's just a visceral justification made up on the spot. It's not a real argument and it should never be treated like one. It should always be pointed out to these people that's not a real argument. That's just a justification. It doesn't hold up to scrutiny at all. So next time someone says homo homosexuality is unnatural, don't start talking about how homosexuality occurs in nature. Because of course homosexuality occurs in nature. We're part of nature, and it occurs in us. And even if homosexuality were unnatural, there's nothing inherently bad about being unnatural. Unnatural, if it existed, which it doesn't, would be a completely morally neutral concept. So thank you kindly for your time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you favorite this video, and I hope that you show it to all of your friends and family members, especially your homophobic friends and homophobic family members. Peace.